It's always great to learn about stories of the past And how we went from moving slow to moving so darn fast Sit back and relax and learn something you didn't know Here's a little history from the moat Welcome back to the Claremore Museum of History. So today we're going to uh, take a look at our uh, very special artifact here, a 1957 cash box award. Can you guess who won it? Born Clara Ann Fowler on November 8, 1927 in Claremore, Oklahoma, as one of 11 children of a railroad foreman and a mother who picked cotton to help support the family. Patty Page started singing professionally in her teens at Tulsa radio station KTUL. After the primary singer got laryngitis, Patty stepped in and won the job. She also decided to take her stage name after one of the program's sponsors, the Page Milk Company. In 1950, she recorded Tennessee Waltz, the largest selling single in country music history, which signaled the upcoming pop crossover strategy of the Nashville sound. Other hits followed, including The Doggy in the Window and Old Cape Cod. She also appeared in several motion pictures, including Elmer Gantry and Boys Night Out, with fellow Oklahomans James Gardner and Tony Randall. Paige released more than 100 albums and has more than 100 million record sales to date making her the all-time best-selling female vocalist in American popular music history. All right, everybody, so this is the famous Cashbox Award here. So this was the precursor to the Grammy. Patti Page was so great. Uh, I really love her and some of the films she's in, and uh, she was just dominated throughout the 50s, really. I mean, she won best-selling female vocalist, every year from 1950 to 1958, excluding the year 1955. Uh, so just an incredible accomplishment. I mean, imagine winning a Grammy almost every year for a decade. Hey, that's an incredible accomplishment. The Patty Page collection is on loan from the Oklahoma Historical Society. And that collection is going to be on display at Oklahoma Pop. So OK Pop will have uh, the entire Patty Page collection out there in Tulsa right across the street from Kane's Ballroom. We're so excited for that to open and we're so thankful that we get to display a part of that collection here in Claremore uh, where Patty Page is from.